Royce Unchained, presented by Josh Arnold, investment consultant, Mr. Money Talk. We were just talking off microphone here about uh, Paul Paul George with his four-year contract going to be uh, another superstar acquired by Daryl Morey to save one of his teams. Yeah, maybe this will maybe this will be the iteration that finally gets a Daryl Morey team over the hump, Pat. Uh, I don't, uh, I, I don't get it uh, to give that much money to a 34 year old. The, the NBA has this, uh, addiction and Judd and I were talking about it yesterday. Some, they have this addiction to giving guys in their mid thirties, these ungodly contracts. What's wrong with you? Yeah. It's worse than giving Aaron Rodgers a huge contract at 38. They, they, what's going on? The NFL does it with these old falling down quarterbacks. And then uh, now the NBA does it with dozens of these uh, once great players who are now mailing it in. They're, they'll be fighting to pay Kawhi, even though when you, in a time of need, he's going to say, out of the hell with it. And I'm not playing the next 20 games. So uh, yeah. I, I, I don't get it. Uh, I don't. I don't think Paul George. He was very good. I don't think he's that great anymore. And I. Uh, I congratulate the Clippers for not doing. But the, you know who the. You know what's the most interesting? D'Lo had the uh, what that little run of about one week, and he was uh, talking about this contract he expected to get, like a uh, half a max, uh, 130 million. He opted in for his last year of his contract. And, uh, to, to, and the to, Lakers it, cringed when he did it. Yeah, and now there's yeah. reports that the Lakers are open to moving D'Lo. You think? <laughs> yeah, well, and to where? To where? Who's who's going to take him? For, what's he making, 20 or something? Or you know, he'd be, he'd be a great, like, 21 points, you know, seven assist guy on the Utah Jazz for a couple of years. Oh yeah, yeah it's like a transitionary good. team, <laughs> someone like that. What uh, you gotta you gotta have him say, you know, I used to work with a guy in my brief time as an unqualified sports editor, who uh, would call in sick twelve times a year, right? Because that was the limit before you had to go to a doctor with the with the Pioneer Press Guild, and I used to tell him. Call me ahead of time a few days to when you're going to be sick so I can make sure we got enough people on the desk to help out. Because Fridays, you know, Friday prep nights, and when you call in sick, I, you know, I'm shorthanded. So just let me know ahead of time. That, yeah. That's fine. That's what Delo should do is they should have get a, get a slip of paper and say, oh, mark down the weeks where you're going to be interested. Well, yeah, they, you know, like uh, there's this 10 day stretch where you think you'll be interested. And then the rest of the time, we'll just invent some injury and we'll play. Yeah. yeah. When, when you're planning on going two for 14, it'd just it'd be yeah. nice to have a heads up. <laughs> yeah. Let's just tell us that when you're not going to guard anybody and you're going to be a complete idiot and ignore everybody, let us know ahead of time. Well, yeah. So we just won't play you. That would be good. That'd be so good. The, the, the latest wolves related rumor is a really interesting one. Cause first of all, we, we never know what Tim Connolly's up to, yes. you know, he's, yes. He's always just kind of you know, dressed like a ninja, roving around the back <laughs> corners of the NBA front offices. So uh, Jake Fisher, very credible NBA insider for Yahoo Sports. He's the next in the line of the he's Yahoo. A, the, great. A, the the Yahoo tree that uh, we keep yep. getting, getting the, uh, the insiders from. Whether the Yahoo, poor Yahoo, they kind of get sit there, they get everybody stolen from them, and then they find another Yahoo to do it. Yeah, and so this is the latest Yahoo to be, uh, you know, an NBA insider. And and he says, so Lowry Markkinen, the Jazz have been threatening to trade Lowry Markkinen for a couple Ooh. years. And now that the, the Warriors have lost Clay, and I think they're fine with that, they're kind of in the mix. But he floated that the Timberwolves are showing interest in Lowry Markkinen, How? which is really interesting because he basically is Carl Anthony Towns, but for a yes. third the price right now. Yes, that's, yeah, that, that would I agree. I, did did Tim Connolly get caught sleuthing around on cat trades here by <laughs> yes. Yahoo is what I want to know. Yes, yes, that's what I would say. And uh, I would uh, do that, by the way. I would, if I could get rid of cat and not have to pay that ungodly uh, 
fee that we're going to have to pay or second apron or whatever it is and yeah. get marketing. I like marketing a lot. Now he's also has a durability problem. All right. He's uh, hasn't he missed a lot of games through. His yeah. I mean, he'll time. give you, he'll give you 55 to 60 games, you know, he can shoot it though. I like him a lot. And then, then you don't have to mess around with the nonsense of we got to get cat in the post here one more often. You don't, you don't have to mess around with that. You know what I saw today though? I didn't realize that the Nas has an op out after this year i didn't Correct. realize that that's uh that's gonna he's gonna be a little spendier than he uh was was last time or what's he making now 24 or something oh uh, so i think it's like 15 or 18 oh, oh, like, that's right. it's, he, it's he, under he, 20 Jaden yeah. makes 20 yeah that's 24 right. Jaden is the one that so yeah well it, it would be nice if somebody actually had some info on Connolly, but uh it's, it's i'm betting against it but marketed yes i'd like him a lot if Conley trades Cat, that's going to be an all timer, though, for yes. a guy for a for a, the old poker face. Yes, we're gonna run it, babe. We're gonna run it back. And we're gonna just do yeah. this. Yeah, we're, we're ready fine. to take this, and boom, you know. But who's? I really think it's it's the giant version of trading Wendell Moore Jr. You gotta find somebody to take him, you know, at fifty billion. I mean, he's a he's a hell of a player, but he, you gotta have a can you build around him? And it's got to be a team that wants to build around him. And uh, I, I've, I've been saying the Brooklyn Nets, but I haven't heard anything. So I know. Mean, and, and now they're kind of going, that. yeah, they're in tank mode now mm -hmm. for the next yeah. couple of years. So I, I don't know where else. Where, where yeah, else? Yeah, it, it would have to be. There's a bunch of people now, now that this, this leaked out. People are like, Cat's name has not been leaked, by the way. Mm -hmm. People are just figuring out, well, how would you get Markin in? Mm -hmm. And you and you're not you're probably not trading Jaden McDaniels for Markinen and then it's Cat Markinen go like you'd probably trade Cat forty six million. The Jazz have a ton of cap space to absorb, mm -hmm. and then the, but then the Jazz would probably find a third team, and you'd have Cat sent off for picks. That's probably what it would have to be. But who's the third team? Who? I, yeah, I don't know who wants it. I, I don't know who's going to build their team around him. As we know, he's not going to be the Knicks because he didn't play at Villanova. So we don't. <laughs> we have Tibbs has no interest in anybody who did not play at Villanova. I can't believe they got Mikhail Bridges now. They got four of them <laughs> in their starting lineup from Villanova. It's and Bridges hasn't missed a game in like. Yes. Six years Tip. or something. Yeah. Well, he's going to be tested on that now. <laughs> he's playing 43 a night. You'll find yeah. out now. He and Brunson will be over there taking oxygen next to each other. So, uh, <laughs> you know, Tim, uh, he's 40, you know, he'll play a lot. But, yeah. Well, it's, uh, you know, the uh, great thing about NBA speculation is we've heard of all these guys. You know, you know who they are and they're, you know, you're the, the, you know, one person is so important in a in a basketball trade that um, you know, unlike every other sport, because there's five guys out there and you're one of them. So uh, yeah, it's just much more important. But it's a lot of fun. This is this is almost more fun than the uh, the first half of the season, isn't it? It is. <laughs> you know? It's great. Well, I mean, uh, now that Way we have the fun. in season tournament, you know, it's uh, yeah, the first yeah, part. That's right. We are. How come we didn't have a parade for our links? Are in for winning the, winning the, the commissioner's, cup. The commissioner's I cup. cup. I told we, you they took out a full page ad in the back of the Sunday Star Tribune. All of that's Glenn Taylor taking money out of one pocket and putting it in the other, but <laughs> it's a know, tax that, write off. That's 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 good, but uh, yeah, they hey, let's call the owner and see if you'll buy an ad in the Star Tribune. You know, that would uh, that that would work good, but hey, good. I'm glad to you know see it, and then they're uh. Then they come around and get beat by Dallas and then win a must have been a stinkeroo game the other day with Angel Reese. The big showdown with Angel Reese and it's 70 to 62. So what was that about? Anyway, my new favorite thing on the Internet is watching uh, like people poke at Caitlin Clark for having so many turnovers. But yeah. then there's these video highlight clips that people are compiling of her teammates being completely unable to catch these perfectly <laughs> yes. threaded passes. Yes. It's like like five times a game, she'll just throw a ridiculous bounce pass, three quarters court, right they in the bread basket and fumble out of bounds. Sign, they should sign the girl from Watertown Mayors, Zanano, who she had two years ago at Iowa. She, she had the greatest 
asset of all. She could catch all of Caitlin's passes <laughs> yeah. and then move around with it, and then turn around with her large frame and t- lay it in. I will really miss her this year because the the kid they had playing center for him, the, the leaner, uh, more athletic kid, she missed about a uh, half of her bunnies, you know. She said she was not good on the two fitter footers. Zizano never missed one. She turned around, put you on her frame and uh and knocked you out of the way and laid it in. She was she's gotta be Caitlin's all time favorite player. Yeah. But yeah, I'm she's... still getting I'm still getting uh, emails and complaints about my column saying Caitlin didn't belong on the Olympic team. People are still mad at me for about that. So that was a, that was one of the hottest sports topics in years. I feel like yes, well, it was WNBA, yeah, it was, and 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 people insincere guys like uh, David Portney and Noy and guys like this. This is terrible. I've never watched, but this is really terrible. My favorite know? is Clay. Clay Travis went from dunking on women's sports for yes. years, showing that yeah. there's no actual growth, to now using Caitlin Clark as a martyr. <laughs> and a shield. Look at how they're treating her. It's like, dude, yeah. you've been clowning women's sports for for ten years. Yeah. What? Uh, why? Why would he uh, be all in on that? I wonder. What? What? She's from Iowa. And it's a Republican. I think. It, I, I mean, I think. It's, I think if you look at you know who, who consumes his content, he's probably just pandering. It's my guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. All righty. So our mm. fighting twinks coming home. They got. They got to face Struble tonight. That guy's oh. good. He's going to be an All Star game pitcher. So. Uh, It'll be uh, Simeon Woods Richardson. I'll have a test here to keep it in the ballpark. And did they send Spencer Torkelson to the minors? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the Mud we Hens. saw him play two weeks ago. We He's were at CHS back. Field uh, when he was wow. playing for the Mud Hens. Yeah. He was going to be, a, you know, last year he he really kind of hit the wall in the middle of last season. But man, alive, he was the he was the next. I don't know who he was their next superstar, and uh, now he's back in the minors. Hmm. I don't know if he, it was Jesse Rogers of ESPN, but they were talking about they interviewed a bunch of managers, and they said the gap between right now between Major League Baseball and AAA has never been wider in terms of the competition and the difficulty of figuring out what you have in AAA versus a Major League player. Well, the one game I went to this year was a doubleheader, and uh, I, I watched that game that night and said, uh, "These boys are all playing for themselves." <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's not, uh, you know, and it, now then they went off and won eleven in a row or something, so they must have gotten their spunk back. But, uh, uh, well, you know what it is? It's a uh, these interchangeable pitchers that. Uh, you got 13 pitchers and you have five starters and you got three relievers. Then you got five guys who can, Hey, who you got who hasn't pitched in two days. Okay. Send them over here, you know, and would hopefully you can get lucky and get somebody out. So I, I think it's probably more the pitching than anything. Don't you plus, you know, as far as, uh, opera, uh, opportunity. The other thing is who gets a chance now? I mean, this, how, how rotten does uh, Vasquez have to be before we just bring the big lug over Camargo and hope he hits a home run sometime? You know, I mean, the, the guy, he's cool. he's slugging like 230 and we're in July. <laughs> yeah, right. So and yeah. any time now would be great. And, and he's got <laughs> bad hands. I know now they say he's a good receiver, but, you know, the ball goes. How many balls in the dirt go flying by him? And uh, I don't know. I uh, that they, they got another year to eat on that one, too. If, uh, you know, if, if they didn't have him, they wouldn't have had to cut so much budget this year, right? But, hey, what, yeah, are we complaining? what are we complaining about? They're 10 games over. So they're fourth best record in the American League this morning. I think they're better than last year. Yeah, I do too. But uh, it, it does depend on the, you know, Paddock coming back, uh, Woods Richardson keeping this up. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know, the big Festa kid, I don't know about him yet i what do you think declan did you watch him the other day yeah i, I did it, he was fine he, he was I, fine he's uh kind of got this over the top delivery when he throws strikes but uh it we don't know if he wa- wavered because he knew he had a, a six seven eight nine run lead that he he shouldn't be walking anybody so he wasn't trying to hit the corners anymore and they knocked him around a little bit but i was expecting better I had a little more velocity and a little better breaking ball. So 
Yeah. And that was just me, though. So anyway. Yeah, maybe he. Do you think he's a reliever in the major leagues? Like long term. That's a trouble. We turn so damn many of them into relievers. That, Twins have a lot of way, those guys. Yeah. Louis Varlin bounced back with five scoreless innings after giving getting seven outs and giving up eleven runs. That was uh, that was a good comeback for Louis. So, but Louis is a reliever. That's we know that we know Louis is a reliever. So, do they know that? That's the question. <laughs> They know it. They just are really worried about if somebody gets hurt, who's going to be a star? You got to have another starter, and uh, you know they got to go get one. But I don't know if they want to pay the freight or not. Yeah. They? Well, well, Pat, if uh, if Louis does eventually figure it out and and come back, what car should he drive from St. Paul to Minneapolis? Uh, well, I was just thinking, if you run out to Jim Paul and Brett Paul Valley Group of GM dealers, Apple Valley and Hastings, and you want to go to the lake Wednesday afternoon, you can probably be in a do it in a new car. If you get out there today, we can turn those things in a hurry. We got full stock. We got a lot full of vehicles, 120 new vehicles out there to choose from. And then, of course, you can also uh, take your choice and have it delivered. But uh, you know, there's no sense in wait. Don't don't drive that rickety thing up the Gull Lake. Drive drive a new car from <laughs> a new Buick, a new GMC. Sierra. How about a Sierra truck? One of those with the you can put the kids in the back. You know the two oh, yeah. the two road trucks, man. Those that's the way to go. There's a million of those uh, driving around right now. So anyway, Jim Paul's Valley Group of GM dealers, they're my guys. Apple Valley and Hastings, low interest rates right now, 0.9%, 1.9% on certain vehicles. Big factory rebates are back. So, uh, you know, right now, this is it. July 4th, drive a new vehicle to the lake. Get out there today. They'll, they got salespeople waiting for you. Yeah. All right. What do you got? You have big holiday week plans here, Pat. What's your game plan this week? Uh, what is our game plan? I don't know. I haven't checked with the. Uh, but I got a hunch that uh, someone might wander over and we'll. Uh, I think we have a wasp infestation out oh. underneath the deck here. Oh so. no! Are you gonna Are you gonna grab a bat and be a hero, or what's I, your? I, I spray him and then run. Spray and run. Yeah, spray, spray and run. run. Spray and run. But last year we had it even worse. The uh, hornets got under the little ones the quick they're quick you know they're really quick compared oh, to the man. other ones they got a nest of them underneath the shingles that sit on the overpass and uh, i'm trying to the, the the bump out on the window you know and i'm keep looking that i see if they're back yet this year i sprayed everything known to man in there and then ran back <laughs> in the garage and then ran but what? didn't run waddled back in the garage <laughs> and then they were they they were mad at me, man. And but the worst part was, the wife had just had the the uh, windows guy out to wash all the windows, you know, about three days earlier. Now it was now all covered with hornet wasp spray out in front, and they, they were still buzzing around. But you know, a nice bee, a nice bumblebee. That I like a bee, but. You know, the rest of them, the rest of these varmints, they deserve death because they, they serve no purpose. Wasps serve no purpose. Hornets serve no purpose. Kill them all. We have a, we had somebody in the neighborhood about a block away that had like a big sign uh, that she was protecting the wasp, the, the hornet's nest up there. That what? We, don't come near it. Uh, stay away from it because... She didn't want to have to spray the uh, hornets to death like the rest. All creatures deserve a life, I guess, even hornets. Not here, though. Not here. If I see one, no. here I come. No. So, yes, that, I'll probably be killing uh, flying objects for uh, okay. in July this year. So. Just waddling around, <laughs> yeah. spraying and waddling <laughs> over here. Waddling. And then waddling over there. <laughs> <laughs> And what's bad is you run in the house and three of them follow you in. That's uh, that's the problem, man. Yeah. If you're not quick enough, they get inside. That's bad. Yeah, but that's a home game for you at that point. You know, you can kind of lure yeah, them into yeah, certain places. Yeah, yes, and, yes, you, you know. can. You can. That. Uh, then, like you content. know what? The flies are still quick too. You know, the, the next month they in the late July, early August they slow down. You can whack them, but we've. Uh, I've killed about three of them. Somehow they got in on the TV downstairs. I'm watching. So you turn off all the lights, and then they get on the TV, and then you smack. Yep. Yeah. I've, become, <laughs> I've become proficient at, yep. at this because, Pat, as I've told you before, we leave uh, w windows and doors 
a open. jar, right? And we get we? flies. Dawn does. Yeah. Um, yeah. I hate flies. So yeah. anyway, what I've learned is I've learned how to sneak up on flies because mm-hmm. they can't they they can't see. There, there's no peripheral uh, yes. f- field for wow, them. So, so what I do is kick, I you gotta I sneak come in them. straight. You can't yep. come, you come in straight and you just go bang and you gotta be decisive. Yeah, I Mr. Really Mr. Good. Miyagi here is what we're that's, finding. That's out. the reason I could never cancel my newspaper subscription despite the, including working for them. You gotta have it takes about what, what about three sections now it used to take maybe one but they're not as thick but you roll them up and you just sit Man. there and watch tv and you always have it right in the wow. you know right next to you whoop yeah yeah i got it i think i got a three-game winning streak here a three-day winning streak on killing one on the tv so. i think we found a new business model for extending newspapers by another decade by <laughs> yeah, the way just right, you know yeah. hey even killing if you don't read it bar- killing <laughs> insects yes yes <laughs> flying insects you know what what's uh, what's interesting as you go here, but you never you go to get the spray and you don't really know what you're getting, you know. So I mean, you, I, I want the old liquid one that's white, you know. But all of a sudden you're shooting out all this foam. I don't want all that foam. I want to, you know. You don't know what you're getting when you buy it. You know, you just go in and grab something and start spraying, and then it's then it's all of a sudden what what is this a big cloud? I, I want the old spray that goes right at them. You know, yeah, exactly. Kills just, them. Yeah, and then once you can, when they're flying, you can even shoot them. It's terrific. It's great. That's that's the best when you shoot one down from the sky, <laughs> like a, like a fighter that. pilot. Yeah. Take that, you little <laughs> sob. What do you think of that? The lady down the street's very upset right now. If she hears this, <laughs> yes, okay. we're gonna get an angry note <laughs> yes, from her. Right. <laughs> you sons of a. All right, you guys working tomorrow or off? Uh, these guys are going to be. I'll be. I'll okay. be via satellite for write that down predictions, and okay. these guys will will anchor it, and mm-hmm. then uh, we'll take a, a long weekend before we settle in for the pre training camp period. Yeah, we're, camp. we're almost yeah. there. Close, Pat. We're getting close. It is amazing when it gets completely quiet on the Vikings for like ten days, doesn't it? All of a sudden, there's, you know, this is it. Yeah, you know, enjoy it because uh, it's not going to last too long here. We're just hoping nobody goes 164 miles an hour on a freeway here. Just everyone. We got any more of uh, we got any more reports of Belichick climbing out a 20 year old's window or not? (laughs) We got any that? That's the biggest soft story of the last three weeks now. So it's great. I don't know. What He's living weird. the life. Yeah. Yes. I bet the Herald's having a lot more fun with that than the Globe, don't you think? Probably. The Post <laughs> yes. The Post loves it. Oh, the God. Post is doing a lot with it. Yes, that's the Post. You can't beat the Post, man. All right, Jets. All right, we Pat. Will, uh, see you. Have a good fourth. Sounds Thanks, good. Sir. You too. Yeah. We, yeah, there he is. Patrick Royce, unchained. We just need uh, Bill Belichick sneaking out of the Hawk Tua girls apartment. Then Tua. the internet will come. She circle. a surface, man. She's everywhere now. <laughs>